Right now, as you're hearing this, a handful of astronomers on a small volcanic island in the Atlantic are staring at data that might redefine how we understand interstellar visitors. The Nordic Optical Telescope in La Palma, Canary Islands, has just captured something no one expected. A faint, perfect ring surrounding 3 I Atlas, expanding outward like a ripple in the night sky. These images, taken between November 11th and November 13th, 2025, show what researchers are now calling a ghost shell, a symmetric glowing halo enveloping the nucleus of this mysterious object. Normally, comets spit dust in chaotic plumes. They break symmetry. They fracture. But this, this is precision. The ring is expanding by roughly 500 kilometers per hour, increasing its diameter by nearly 20% in four days. As of today, November 14th, the ring spans over 200,000 kilometers, about half the distance from Earth to the moon, and it's still growing. At the same time, something even stranger is happening. A narrow, bright structure, an anti-tail, is reaching toward the sun. In normal physics, comet tails are pushed away from the sun by radiation pressure. Yet this one points back, a luminous thread stretching against solar wind, like a cosmic finger daring gravity to explain it. The Nordic team, led by David Jewett and Jane Liu, released a preliminary statement yesterday confirming the feature's authenticity. Jewett's words were direct. This is not asymmetric dust ejection. It's balanced, almost deliberate. And that phrase, balanced, almost deliberate, has the astronomy world buzzing. Data from the Virtual Telescope Project in Italy, led by Gianluca Massi, confirmed the same geometry from a completely different vantage point. Two telescopes, thousands of kilometers apart, capturing the same strange symmetry, a shell and an anti-tail growing in tandem. Massey's team described the anti-tail as a rebellion against solar dynamics, a forward-pointing feature lengthening by the hour. And it's not just visible light. Spectroscopic scans from November 12th and 13th indicate a carbon-rich composition, CO2 emissions surging at levels not seen since the perihelion burst on October 30th. That much CO2 means massive sublimation, frozen carbon dioxide rapidly converting into gas. Yet somehow the nucleus remains intact. The outgassing appears uniform in all directions, forming the near-perfect ring seen in the Nordic images. Normally, that kind of isotropic ejection would tear a small body apart. The fact that 3I Atlas is surviving it suggests one of two things. Either its structure is unusually strong, perhaps carbon-reinforced, like a cosmic diamond, or the process driving this outflow isn't natural sublimation at all. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has already weighed in. Writing on Medium late last night, Loeb confirmed that the November 11th frames show no fragmentation, no multiple pieces, no debris cloud, just a single, intact nucleus, surrounded by a stable expanding ring. In his own words, this symmetry looks engineered by physics we don't yet understand. Meanwhile, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is running real-time orbital refinements as the data arrives. JPL's Corinne Meech said in a morning briefing, We're updating our models every few hours. Whatever this is, it's not behaving like a normal comet. According to those updates, 3I Atlas remains on a hyperbolic escape path, moving outbound from the Sun at roughly 26 kilometers per second. That's nearly 94,000 km slash h. But here, where things get truly bizarre, preliminary radio analysis from South Africa's Meerkat Array picked up faint hydroxyl emission lines on November 10th, the telltale signature of water ice being broken down by solar radiation. Mixed into that signal, astronomers noted subtle sidebands that don't correspond to any known molecular transitions. Not artificial, but not ordinary either. No confirmed radio bursts have been found since the rumored 1420 MHz pulse last week. But the coincidence of that event with the comet's explosive outburst has astronomers keeping every dish tuned. Loeb's Galileo project, based at Harvard, is coordinating cross-checks with independent SETI facilities to ensure nothing slips by. And yet, while the scientific community debates, the comet keeps changing. New images captured early this morning November 14th, show the anti-tail now extending over 13 arcseconds, roughly 8% longer than yesterday. Its tip appears denser and brighter, 
implying that material is being funneled from one specific vent near the nucleus's equator. Spectral analysis from the Nordic team shows strong CN emission lines at 3883 angstrom, usually a marker of carbon compounds burning bright in ultraviolet reflection. But the ring, the ghost shell, absorbs in the blue, indicating solid carbonaceous grains, possibly graphite or soot-like material. That absorption pattern has never been documented in an interstellar object. JPL simulations released late last night suggest that if the mass loss rate inferred from the shell's expansion is correct, about 10% of the comet's total mass per week, then 3I Atlas is shedding billions of tons of material faster than any object its size ever recorded. And yet it's holding together, Avi Loeb noted in a CNN interview aired yesterday. When something releases that much gas symmetrically without fragmenting, it's either extremely cohesive or governed by internal control mechanisms. Either explanation changes the story. For context, anti-tails aren't new Comet Ponsbrooks displayed one in 2024, but those were optical illusions caused by Earth's viewing angle. What 3i Atlas is showing is intrinsic. It's not a trick of perspective. It's physically there, thrusting sunward, defying the flow of solar radiation. And this timing matters. Post-perihelion, after surviving closest approach to the sun on October 30th, the comet should be fatting. Instead, it's brightening again. A second wind. The same phenomenon was seen in no other interstellar visitor, not Aumuamua, not Borisov. The Nordic team's follow-up briefing this morning was blunt. Jane Liu summarized it best. We're seeing an object behaving like it's alive, responsive, poolsing, shedding its outer layers in perfect symmetry. The story doesn't end there. New Gemini South images from November 14th, processed at dawn, confirm the anti-tail's further growth. The shell appears sharper, its edge more defined, suggesting that the gas density is dropping as the outer boundary expands. If that trend continues, the ring could dissipate within weeks or collapse inward if driven by an internal pulse. Meanwhile, the global astronomy community is racing to observe it before it fades. Telescope networks from Chile to South Africa are booked solid. Even amateur astronomers are contributing. A viewer from Chile posted last night, Watching 3i atlases ring live feels like history unfolding, like seeing the universe breathe. And that's exactly what this is, a breathing moment in cosmic history. An interstellar body, billions of years old, now venting gases from a core that might predate Earth itself. The composition, rich in carbon dioxide, nickel traces and minimal water, matches nothing in our catalog of solar system comets. By December 19, 2025, 3i Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth at 1.2 AU, roughly 180 million kilometers. The Hubble and James Webb telescopes are both queued for observation windows starting November 20th. If the ghost shell persists, we'll have the clearest data yet, direct spectra, high-resolution nucleus mapping, and possibly answers to the mystery of how something this stable can erupt this evenly. But the deeper question remains, why now? Why this symmetry? Why this behavior right after perihelion when the object should be dying down? Some believe it's purely chemical, the slow thaw of a carbon-dominated body awakening after billions of years, frozen in interstellar space. Others think it's structural, a nucleus venting from equatorial fissures, perfectly aligned with its spin. And a few, like Loeb, leave the door open for more exotic explanations, that what we're seeing could be a form of natural control, or even relic technology behaving autonomously after eons of silence. Whatever the answer, this week's discovery marks a turning point. We are witnessing 3i Atlas transform before our eyes, its ring expanding, its tail growing, its chemistry screaming anomaly after anomaly. It's not science fiction. It's happening right now, 200 million kilometers away, unfolding live under the watch of telescopes across Earth. And as data continues to pour in, one thing is clear. The ghost shell of 3i Atlas isn't just a cometary phenomenon. It's a message from the deep, written in light and carbon, carried across the stars. Stay tuned, because what happens in the next few weeks may decide whether 3i Atlas becomes another data point in our archives.
or the first clue to something far larger than we ever imagined.